Gyms remain closed. More and more groups have turned to virtual workouts that might be more of the norm after the virus subsides. Fox 12's Nick Krupke shows us how specialty athletic training has turned the page to the screen with a little help from their NFL buddies. Making sure that we're keeping our feet glued to the floor. Ryan Lockard found his career calling while playing, then coaching at Lewis and Clark. Found a job on Craigslist working with a 13-year-old boy with autism. That part-time job um, ended up becoming my independent study. I wrote a paper on autism and my experience working with Ben. Um, he's the one that the logo's designed after, the inspiration behind the whole company, and he's like a little brother to me now. That initial connection with his buddy Ben led Ryan to creating specialty athletic training nearly eight years ago to serve athletes with special needs. People, especially with social media, were reaching out to us saying, we love if you were in this area or that area or this state. Um, and so just geographically, we were limited. Let's go, let's go. Normally working with four gym spaces in Portland, Vancouver, and Bend, Lockhart's trainers have gone fully virtual without skipping a beat or workout. How are you going to motivate someone via, you know, FaceTime or via Zoom? We always knew that we could do it, but it's definitely the unknown. Let's do your last plank here. Virtual interaction certainly isn't the same as physical interaction, but the smiles still feel the same. Henry, how are you doing, dude? Great. Henry from Central Oregon made a connection with a pair of NFL twin brothers. <laughs> Henry, you still getting some workouts in? Uh, yes. Yeah. Jacob and Cody Collister, the Seahawks yeah, and Titans, Henry, Henry. while working out with specialty athletic training at Boss Sports Performance, the home of Philomath Rays Super Bowl champion Kevin Boss. It's where professional athletes like Beaver turned Minnesota Viking Blake Brandle had been sharing the same space. It's pretty special, you know, and that's I think that's the biggest thing is that you know, I pride myself in and, and going places where, you know, of creating that community. Just been extremely grateful for that. And, um, you know, but they're they're also grateful for seeing our clients and, you know, having them integrated within their environment as well. And so it's always mutually beneficial. Um, it really helps us break down the stigmas of, you know, um, special needs and diagnosis that these kids um, sometimes have. And, um, and then having those, you know, those guys witness that too. Um, and see that our clients are putting in the work and then also be able to have our clients see the work that, you know, what it looks like at, at that at that level. Um, you know, it's a whole nother, it's a great experience. How will this way that you've spun it now with all the virtual, how will this set you guys up going forward, kind of maybe having more tools in the toolbox that way? Yeah, no, I mean, you kind of nailed it right there, Nick. As far as, you know, for us, it's more of just setting it up where, you know, now we're able to go virtual and offer our, our um, training to anyone, anywhere. You know, no matter what's going on, which is um, pretty awesome moving forward. May we all make the best out of the situation we are in. From the garage, Nick Krepke, Fox 12, Oregon.